Hello guys, welcome to your third Ruby tutorial and instead of talking about variables like I said I would in the last video, I need to talk about a little bit about the whole idea of object oriented programming because we're going to get into some stuff and it's going to be very difficult to understand if you don't have at least an introductory um, understanding of this, of what, what it means of um, this idea of object orientation. And uh, we're not going to go into too much detail, we're going to go back to it later on because then it's going to make a lot more sense than it is going to be right now but just for introductory purposes let's try to cover the basics so first of all forget about programming just for a second and think about the real world if you look around we we have a bunch of things right we have a bunch of cars we have a bunch of houses and we usually categorize them into one specific set right so every time you see a, a new car you know it's a car, right? Well, because you know that somehow it's got tires, it's it's able to drive. You could tell it's a car. Also buildings, you know, you you know that this is a house and this is another house, so they all share some some uh, resemblances and um, some certain characteristics. Well, in programming, this um this different types of houses and different types of cars, we call them objects. And you want to understand the difference between objects and something called a class. So this is the two main ideas that I want you to to understand in this video. A class is an idea. It's an idea that's going to um, develop into different objects. So in this drawing that I here that I have here, I made a class of car. So the blueprint is going to be the class. You could you could almost refer to um, a class as a blueprint. So the idea of a class, in this case is a car, it's going to be here. So basically, if I were to create a car class, I would um, you know, put certain ideas that a car would have, such as having tires, having, um, having um, windows, but also putting inside things like acceleration or de-accelerate. De de and there's two types of things we put inside classes and we call them properties and methods. Properties are, you know, what you expect, such as the color, such as, um, you know, the length, and things like that. Methods, just think of them as verbs. So, in this case, I would put a method as accelerate, um, the accelerate, stuff like that in, in the car class. The, the the idea here is that from this blueprint we're able to create a lot of different cars. We're not going to say, you know, property color equals blue. We're not gonna say it like that. We'll put it something like, you know, property um color equals and we'll leave it sort of like um we'll leave it as a variable. That way we could choose different colors, you know, for different cars. So that's what that's the idea here the class is going to be a blueprint and from this blueprint we're able to create objects so what I did here is let's just say I created a class of car and with this idea now I could create uh, a bunch of objects that share all of these attributes all of these properties and methods and I could create different cars so I could create a Ferrari that has a different color that could accelerate much faster and you know it's longer it's it's got different shape also i could create a different object with this particular idea now the the color it could be blue and um you know it could be a little slower it could have an acceleration of that's faster than the ferrari and so on so you get the idea right also with with houses i could create a house class and i could have you know the basic stuff in there like it's going to have um windows but the the type of windows is going to be optional, you know. So one house might have a a glass window, another one might have some other I don't know what type of window there are, but you get the idea here. And the way we refer to um to these methods in classes, we separate them by something called the dot syntax. So in this case, if I say um you know the color of the Ferrari, I would do something like this for Ferrari. And I wanted the color, I would put the dot color. And now this would be uh well it would be the method. You you'll see what I'm talking about later on. And that'll be equal to yellow. Right? 
and then so on for the next one. So that's the only thing that I want you to talk about today because later on when we make more videos on accessing their methods and their objects then we're going to be using this syntax here. The dot, so when you see this, this means it's an object and then the dot, that means you're accessing their particular properties or methods. And uh, that's all for now. I will go over in much more detail when we have a better idea. Just, just, just remember the difference between objects and classes. A class is an idea, it's a blueprint, and an object is basically, you know, a very descriptive object based on this idea. And you can see here I created different different types of objects. A Porsche, Mustang, and a Jeep. So based on this idea we, we get this and then the way we write it is by the dot syntax. So in this case Ferrari, color, and I would give it whatever color I wanted. And in here that's the whole point we could make different objects from this one class now I could do Porsche you know color because blue and so on so we could create all these objects just by one class okay so that's all for now and um, in the next video then I'm gonna be going over some variables okay thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe